So now that we're pretty much training at home, um, we don't really have access to a lot of adjustable um, weights. So we're going to be having to use sort of the same amount of weights over and over and over again to create hopefully a hypertrophic response. So one of the really interesting things is uh, BFR training. So or it's actually called occlusion training using blood flow restriction bands. So they're a little bit like um, the tourniquets that you see like when you go to the hospital and stuff, but basically they'll clip in. They're a little bit more elastic than those ones, so you can really stretch them up. Um, I got mine from Amazon, but yeah, these things are a little bit um, a little bit finicky, but they work really well. So you want to put it up above the bicep muscle, um, pretty much as high as you can. So right up just above the shoulder. Um, when you flex your bicep, it shouldn't be sitting on the bicep. You're going to wrap it until it's tight. Um, play around with them a little bit. So you're going to have to do a couple of reps. Um, and you definitely shouldn't feel numbness when they're on. So as you're holding it, um, if you just put your hands down straight beside you, they shouldn't feel like they're going super, super numb. Um, and you should start to feel the effects or the swelling pumping effects after about eight to 15 reps. So one of the really interesting things, so I'm gonna link a study uh, below this where basically what's been found is, is that using 15 to 30% of your one RM, so for example, if you can curl, um, let's just say 20 kilo dumbbells, using 15% of that, that's like, that's like four kilo but using these BFR bands, uh, that is being shown to be just as effective. And being and doing them for three to five, um, only doing them two to four days a week, not three to five. Three to five is actually shown to be overtraining using super light dumbbells. So this is going to be a new way where we can use some of these lighter weights to actually create the response that we're after and create a new form of progress for us boys. Um, what you're seeing now is what's called the traditional BFR um, training. So essentially what that is, is you have them on, you have the BFR bands just above your um, bicep and pretty much as high as you can get it on the arm. Then you're going to do three sets of dumbbells, dumbbell curls, right? So you're going to have them in each arm and you're going to go 15, I'm um, sorry, for the first set, you're going to give me 30 reps. Um, with only 30 seconds rest. Now that 30 seconds rest is important because if you don't do that 30 seconds, um, if you go longer than that, then it's it sometimes doesn't work quite as well. So after you've had 30 seconds, you're gonna go for another 15 reps. This is what you're seeing now. Um, so you get 15 reps. I was on that one, I was standing on a bar, um, oh, sorry, on a band to create the resistance just a little bit more because obviously it was a little bit easy with the five. Um, but you can make the bands a little bit tighter um, if you want to make it harder. Um, and you can also, yeah, like you can see there, add some bands. I prefer to add bands rather than going straight to increasing weight. I would make weight the last thing you increase because that's going to be the limiting factor. We can always make resistance bands harder, um, but we can't always make dumbbells heavier. We're going to always get to an end point there. And this is a way it's going to create a better resistance profile as well, which I'll talk a little bit about later, but you're about to see the end of this. So that's the set there. So that's all three sets, 30 reps, 30 seconds rest, 15 reps, 15 seconds reps, uh, 15, 30 second rest and 15 reps again, 30 seconds rest. Um, I'll put the I'll put the actual exercise up there, but that's all there. This one's another one you can do. So bicep drop set. Uh, so you can see there three exercises. You're going to do dumbbell and resistance band curls um, with a pause up the top. So every time you get to the pot, you're going to squeeze those pinkies and you're going to tense as hard as you can, right? 10 reps of that going straight into dumbbell slash resistance band bicep curl half reps um, for 10 reps, which you're about to see now. And then you're gonna see unbanded dumbbell bicep curls to failure. So what you wanna see here, these are still the pause ones. So bring it up, squeeze it through the pinkies, and then boom, half reps, no rest at all. Uh, keeping the shoulders back, leaning forward just a little bit, but you're making all that power come from the biceps. The resistance band shouldn't be too heavy. You should be able to feel it. Um, your biceps working harder than your shoulders and your forearms. This is the whole point of the BFR bands. Make sure they're actually quite light and let the feeling of the blood really squeeze into it. Um, and then this is the last last exercise. So then these are just banded, uh, sorry, unbanded um, bicep curls to failure. And you just keep going. 
pump them out, pump them out. Like I said, I'm only using five kilos, but that's literally all I've got at this time being. So if you, you can do these with nine kilos, 10 kilos, um, but the whole point of using the BFR bands is you don't have to use those heavy weights that are gonna create um, the stress, um, the stress on the joints. And yeah, they're a great tool to use, especially if you've never used them before, you're gonna get mad pumps. So now it's a delt one. You don't really need the bands for this one, but I've just, I did this all in one video. So I'm just voicing over the whole thing. So um, as you can see, massive, I'm just gonna pause it here so I can have a quick look at this. Uh, so yeah, we got, Dumbbell, resistance band, lat raise, hold. So you're gonna hold them out the side for 10 to 15 seconds with the pause. Then you're gonna go dumbbell and resistance band, lateral raises for 10 reps. Um, hold again for 10 to 15. Then you're gonna pause up the uh, quarter reps at the top position until you can't get another one. And then you're gonna go into unbanded dumbbell, full range of motion, lateral raises. Ready, so we're gonna show it now. So for the setup, you wanna set up on the um, on the resistance band, standing on it, one foot on. Um, you can do both feet, but that will make it harder. So we're gonna have to talk about um, how to make it harder with resistance bands from the get-go. So, yep, pausing up, hold it. All right, you can see the, um, my arms just a little bit in front of me, right? And you have to find for you where those hold, where that time is for the shoulders. All right, going into full reps. Don't worry about the outer focus. Don't worry too much about the pause. That's the beautiful thing about using the bands. If you don't have the resistance bands around the dumbbells, um, you're gonna have to do it a little bit slower than this. This is because, yeah, the bands are making it heavier up the top. So you just have to hit it and then let it come back down. Always control on the way down. Make sure the muscle is doing the work. Hold again. Delicious. And then this is the cut and this is the quarter reps up the top. So you're never letting them hit down below. Don't let those shoulders turn off. The whole point of these exercises is to keep constant tension on the muscles, a whole set. And then these are just unbanded. Couldn't be bothered moving the um, dumbbells, uh, the resistance band off the dumbbells. Um, but as you can see, there's not a lot of resistance there. Um, so you just keep popping them out. Make sure your abs are flexed. Your shoulders are always on, controlling down. And you just do them until you really can't get another one. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And pop it down two to three sets of that would normally be enough and once again you're only using five kilo um, dumbbells and i was absolutely wasted okay yeah so tricep torture now three exercises again um you have to gonna have to get very used to using um using bands, lightweights, and lots of supersets. This is gonna be um, one of the ways, essentially, I'll go into it a little bit later, but I'm just gonna go through this exercise. Um, so dumbbell, rib, and resistance band skull crushers for 10 reps, um, dumbbell resistance band neutral grip press for 10 reps, and then dumbbell resistance band straight arm flies. Now these are gonna be important to, this one, the bands are pretty important, um, especially if you're doing lightweights like this. If you've got, um, 18 plus kilo dumbbells, um, then you know you probably don't need the band for this. But if you've got only super lightweights, you're gonna have to find a way to make these resistance bands work for you. So as you can see, elbows are straight. You wanna pull that resistance band. You can see how it's not going straight up above my head. They're pulling out closer towards my um, head, not my chest. Um, so they're pulling out further so that that resistance band is at its absolute longest when it's up the top. I don't want it to be shorter the top you need to make that hard for yourself um, so you're going to stay there resistance band is wrapped around the chest um, BFR bands are still on once you get all your reps here you're going to go into the neutral grip press which is hands still facing together so you don't have to move at all and then you're just going to go straight down and pop 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 nice Oh, these were getting pretty hard. My head's fine. It's popping. And squeeze. And squeeze. So you can see with straight arms, your chest is flared when you get to the top. 
and you're pushing that down because the resistance band has to keep that constant tension the whole way if you're finding that it's slacking as you're doing it um, you need to keep your arms that little bit straighter to keep the tension on we need that we need the bar uh, the resistance to be at its heaviest at its when your arms are flat down on the ground and when then you reach the top those are the two most important parts of this so make sure your arms are staying straight all right so once you get to neutral grip press and then and you straight flies done delicious back delts biceps um three exercises all supersets all in a row um you're gonna have to find somewhere to anchor your resistance band it can if you've got um underneath the door you can use your um underneath the couch coffee table is what i'm using which um probably wasn't the greatest because i made that table myself and um, the leg nearly came out but it's fine um so i was been mucking around with this one a little bit to get a good seated row um when it's without like having a super good anchor um yeah we don't need yeah so back delts and biceps um we're going to be doing a resistance band seated row to face pull um with a pause as well for 10 reps we're going to get um resistance band neutral grip rows to failure and then we're going to get resistance band bicep curls um, for 15 reps after you can't get any more rows so as you can see here i'm only using very light resistance bands all right, you're going to pull your elbows all the way back, dig them into the um, into the ribs, pull them right in, and then squeeze up while that tension on the resistance band is at its heaviest. All right, so you've got to do it when you get it all the way in. Squeeze and down, very good. And up, nice. And then you're just going to get normal reps. All right, so there, where you're going to be pulling from here is all through the back, um, rear, rear delts, and actually focusing on pulling them and turning them into each other. Um, you can't see too much there but yeah i'm more focusing on i'm not focusing on the arms and the biceps and the forearms doing the work here it's all back all right and once you can't get any more just span curls so just keep turning them on all right going for 15 you can go for a couple more um, i'm going a little bit fast here because it was actually burning um, but you should be doing it just an inch slower than that keep going nice Using the dumbbells there inside the resistance bands aren't too easy either. And then rear delt raises to finish them off. Pull. Pull, keep going, squeeze them. All right, so you gotta think about pulling them out wide to the body. They should be going out past the hips and out. You can lean a little bit forward if you need a little less resistance on these last ones. And then hold it, hold it, hold it. And done. So one for front delts. So um, we haven't got a lot of options for front delts. I mean, we do, all you have to do is lift something out in front of you. But um, this one that I found was pretty gnarly without having to use crazy heavy weights. Um, so we got resistance band front delt raises for 10 reps. We got dumbbell resistance band neutral grip presses for 10 reps. And then we got unbanded dumbbell front delt raises for 10 reps, right? So as you can see, um, resistance band is locked around the foot, right? And then you're just pulling forward. Don't worry about the full height of it. Um, if you want to get higher, you only have to get to about parallel is where you really want to get to. I'm not even quite getting there um, because the resistance is actually quite hard on this one. So once you get your 10 to 15 of the front delt raises, you're doing half reps um, shoulder press. I'm holding a one dumbbell on either side, so almost like a front grip, a uh, front squat grip, and just pressing up, up, just keeping the front delts on, so you don't even have to go above the head. And then as soon as you get that, make it a little bit lighter, go unbanded, and then boom, much more controlled on these ones without the band. So you're pulling up, then control. <laughs> Struggle there, keep going, pull, 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 very nice. High reps is going to be the key with these. And relax it there. Good. All right. 
another biceps and delts, which is going to be good. Okay. So, what's important here is actually the pausing, right, when you get to that top. So, every time you get to that top rep, all right, you're squeezing in. As you can see, shoulders are rounded forward, pinkies are sort of laying in. When you get to the top, you've got to squeeze hard and then control. Up, squeeze, control. We're only getting 10 here, so you've got to make sure every single rep counts, especially if your weights are light. Keep going. Perfect. Shoulders are rounded. Keep all pressure on the biceps. Boom. Straight from there. Pause. Control. Pause. Easy. These are actually tougher than they look. And up. Don't stop. You just keep going. And then as soon as you can't get that anymore, you go straight into fast reps. Right. So I need to take a quick second and then one, two, keep going. Pop, pop, pop. Nice work and relax it there. Nice. Awesome. And then last one here, triceps is going to be a hard one, especially push-ups don't really do too well for my shoulders. So using a really light weight here, four exercises in a row, kneeling French presses. Um, then we're going to go into quarter reps, and then we're going to do an ISO hold, and then more kneeling presses, right? So this is just constant torture. Elbows got to stay above the body the whole time. This is important, right? Bringing them down all the way back behind the head, and then push up, back behind the head, push up. You can see I've got a little bit more mobility in my right arm, which is fine, all right? As long as you can feel them working, all right? Now we're working on that bottom portion of the reps. Trying your best to keep them um, equal and stable, but yeah, you just gotta do your best here. Not going up all the way, don't let them rest. And then you're gonna hold here. Hold it, let the blood flow and squeeze into the muscle here. And then squeezing up all the way. Right, again, again. These are easy. Keep going. Pump, 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 and then down. Nice. So what's going to be important here with a lot of these exercises, because as you can see, they're not crazy hard. Um, they're not meant to be challenging uh, neurally or challenging with weight. That's the whole premise of BFR training. So we need to be looking at full range of motion and what you need to feel is is that when you're going through these exercises is you want to be feeling the muscle actually swelling because the blood's going to be getting pulled into the muscle so what we want to feel is from going from the heart into the hands into the biceps into the forearms but it's the whole point of it is for it to struggle to get out so it's going to struggle to actually get um, back to the heart, which is not a bad thing at all, all right? It's going to create more metabolites, yes. It's going to create more lactic acid buildup, yes. But this is actually what we're after because what people are forgetting here is mechanical tension. So when we're talking about um, hypertrophy, you know, and um, maintaining muscle and growing muscle is you know, yes, we need to put more weight on the bar. That is the one thing that we can really control and we can really make it easy. But this is a new way that we can sort of strip back how much we're actually able to, um, how much we're actually able to handle. And then from there is when we're going to start building again from the ground up. So I would encourage you guys to use anywhere between five to 10 kilo weights to start this off. Um, I found that I struggled using um, five kilos for most of those exercises and I only was doing one to two sets of them just for the video. So if you were to follow these, you're looking at two to three sets of them. Um, as I was saying before, the traditional BFR um, workouts is where you do 30 reps on, 
30 seconds rest and then 15 15 reps 30 seconds rest and then 15 reps again 30 seconds rest and you apply these to some of your favorite exercises so barbell curls is a good one um uh dumbbell curls dumbbell skull crushes um rope tricep extension if you have a cable um even like you can you can put them in most exercises but they are most effective for um uh, single joint exercises so you can do things like push-ups um, and things like that but because it's not going to be pulling the blood in that one particular muscle because you're going to be using your chest your shoulders and you're going to be using everything uh you're probably better off sticking to more um if you've got like a barbell or if you've got something like that um it's really just going to depend on what you have so if you have any questions um you can shoot to me directly um and we can work out some exercises for you but that's why i put a hell of a lot um on there and so and i put a lot of different a couple of different variations on there banded unbanded um Banded to bandy resistance bands are going to be an unbelievable tool, especially when you're doing occlusion training and all the other stuff, um, because you're going to be able to create that resistance profile and change it and make it more difficult, make it easier um, at, at your own accord without actually having to change dumbbells. So by stepping further away from the resistance band or doing it, um, you know, doing it further away or stepping on it twice or making your feet further apart, all these little things are going to make it harder without having to touch the weight at all. And that is what is the most important thing here. We need to be training hard. That's all I care about. So don't worry too much about how the weight, how much weight you are lifting. It's still important. But what I want you to think more about is actually, uh, I want you to think more about the tension. I want you to think more about how much force are you actually putting through that one muscle. How much, how much, how full can I make that muscle feel when you finish an exercise and really create that mind muscle connection. Um, it's good to do this. You can add more onto this. Um, I wouldn't keep the bands on for too much longer and I wouldn't do this more than two to four days a week. So, um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna link a study to the end here, but essentially what they have found is doing two to four days a week um, at 15 to 30% of your one RM intensity has been shown to give similar hypertrophic and strength effects um, than doing, you know, up to the 60 to 90% of your one RM, which is just incredible. Um, this is through, um, this is by a guy called Joseph Lenicky. Um, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure it's how you pronounce his name. I'm going to link a podcast and I'm going to link uh, the study to do with this. And you can sort of go from there and learn your own stuff. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. I hope you get onto the bands because it's going to make things very easy um, as far as maintaining muscle. And then we can decide what happens from there um, based on how often we train, how intense we train and how much protein we get in and all that stuff. But if we can just put these in and do this, you know, one, two, three times a week, um, we're going to see, we could come out of this looking pretty damn good. So let me know how you go, guys. Um, always here to help. Let's do this.